Celebrating black culture through art. A local artist is increasing representation with every brushstroke. Mr. Jax reporter Lena Pringle is here. And Lena, he has an inspiring message for younger artists. Good morning, Bruce and Melanie. Chris Clark is a Tallahassee native who's been doing art for more than 30 years. He spent six of those as a professional visual artist and muralist, crediting art and music as his first loves. Clark says art should document history and promote representation. D.C., New York, Chicago, um, Detroit, South Africa. Um, I get messages online like from students in Brazil all the time. It, it's worldwide now. <laughs> Just a few of the many places Chris Clark's artwork has been seen. He's a nationally and internationally known artist. With every piece, Clark's goal is to increase representation. The main theme of my artwork um, has always been representation. Um, I remember going into museums and like the artwork is great in there, but you don't see anything that, that really looks like you in there. So, you know, I want to be that artist that, you know, puts the work in there so the younger generations have a, uh, a reflection of themselves. A part of that representation is portraying natural hair in all of its forms. That's always been like a big thing, like in the workplace for a lot of people, for a lot of black people, um, wearing their natural hair. So I make sure that I put that in the work, whether it's like afros or dreadlocks. You can still be professional and still do the job and, and still achieve things. Like this is just like what we look like. This is what grows naturally from my hair and we should be able to, to rock it like that. Clark has created hundreds of pieces of art through paintings, illustrations, and murals. Through the brushstrokes, Clark aims to colorfully inspire the next generation of artists while intentionally acting as a mirror to society. I just want people to be able to look at my art and like see themselves in it. I think it's important for the youth to see a representation of themselves because it lets them know that uh, this career path is possible for them too. I always say that art is kind of like a form of um, journalism, so I feel like it's a way to like record our history just in um, picture form. With murals, I'm able to create work that reflects uh, black people and black culture on like a huge scale, like for everybody to see. Like you can't miss it, you can't um, ignore it. It's right there and it's in your face and that's like super important to me. While this father of three hopes to continue to inspire people and artists through his pieces, he says the greatest aesthetic of his work is introducing his children to culture through art, something that he didn't have for decades growing up. My kids, fortunately, they, they know black artists. They go to museums all the time. Like We live at the Cummer Museum. Um, and, and so they're being exposed to like culture, not just black culture, but all culture, you know, through art. And I think that's really important and that's something that I didn't have. And so I'm glad that I'm able to um, get an opportunity to them. Clark reminds the next generation of artists to do the work. Don't worry about the likes and followers on social media. It will come to you as long as you stay focused on the art. You can find links to his work inside this story on newsforjacks.com once it's posted online. Melanie, Bruce. Yeah, it's great. He says, you know, it's all about the message. And you said he's got a number of works like downtown. Yeah, a ton of murals downtown. He also has artwork in a lot of galleries. He does a lot of different collaborations with local artists. So if you see Chris Clark, you know, and his Instagram is so incredibly impressive. So you can find that link to that inside of this story on newsforjacks.com. That way you can do a little bit of perusing on your phone if you can't make it to some of the other locations. I love that he said it's not about the likes and the yeah, follows. It's, it's all about, about the, the message. Yeah. yeah. And he truly is redefining what people see as beautiful. There we go. We love to see. Yes, I love it. Thank you, Lena. Good story.